In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can add live performance condition as a data field to your Phoenix Fire Watch so that you can monitor it throughout an activity. But before we do that, just a few words on what this indicator is and how you can use it in your daily training. It's basically a real-time assessment of your current fitness level. It would normally display on the watch as an alert after between 6 to 20 minutes of an activity. And what it does is it analyzes the relationship between your pace, your heart rate and your heart rate variability. It breaks all of that data down into a score on a scale from minus 20 to plus 20. A positive score would mean that you're overperforming based on your baseline fitness, whereas a negative score would mean you're underperforming. What this all means is that for this indicator to work properly, you need to have done some runs before it can give you some useful numbers. So the watch needs to know how you normally would respond to changes in pace and how your heart rate normally is at certain paces. Garmin categorizes performance condition into five categories, ranging from excellent to good to baseline to fair and to poor. Normally you would not see extreme numbers as excellent or poor, but more in the range of good baseline or fair. I'll link in the description below if you want to dig deeper into exactly how this number works and how it's worked out. So how can this be useful in our training? And what I try to do is to think of this as giving some advice, not necessarily giving me a definite answer to my current fitness. At the end of the day, it's just a number based on some data but what I do find is that it corresponds very well to how I would normally feel. If I come home from work and go out for a run not having slept maybe that much and not recovered that well, I would normally see a negative number. Whereas if I feel fresh, I had a long rest, been a while since the last run, and I would normally see a positive number. So without giving any workout advice, as there is so much out there, um, there are a couple of scenarios where you could uh, benefit from looking at this number. So one would be if you're going out for a hard interval and you're seeing a negative number, you might want to reconsider doing that workout as your body might not be rested or able to absorb that type of training. On the other hand, if you're going out for a hard interval and you're seeing a baseline, a positive number, well, that's one indication that you're probably all good to go out and do that hard workout and the workout will be beneficial for your fitness level. A final scenario could be you're going out for an easy recovery run and you're seeing negative numbers that are declining during the activity. You might think of cutting that easy run short. So performance condition records in the same way as your heart rate or pace or distance. And you can look at this uh, in Garmin Connect post-workout. If you go to more, then select the graph page in Garmin Connect, you will see performance condition underneath heart rate. In this case, you can see in my run, I started out with a positive number that declined during the activity and ended up more or less in the baseline area. As I mentioned in the introduction, you get an alert on the watch after 6 to 20 minutes. But I think the usefulness of this, data, of this data increases if you add it as a data field so you can monitor it during the activity. To do that, I've taken some screenshots from my watch and you go into the activities page. Then you press and hold the middle button to go into run settings, select data screens, then go and edit. Uh, in this case, I want to change my heart rate field for performance condition. So select heart rate and you find performance condition within the menu other fields. So select that, confirm, and then you will end up with performance condition in your data field for run activity. So that's a quick video into how you add it as a data field, how it can be useful for your training, and some words on how this indicator is worked out.